Legacy Free Transform is back in Photoshop. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today I want to talk about a recent change to Photoshop. It's a really small thing and it's really just a reversion back to something that uh, that used to be um, in Photoshop. But with the more recent 2019 update, they took it out and changed it and kind of frustrated a lot of people. But I was going to go revert back to the way things were until I did it and messed around with it for a bit. And now I realize I actually prefer the change. But I'll also talk about how I think it should be altered even further um, to be even a little bit better. Okay, so what am I talking about? We're talking about the free transform, op transform option. So if you've got an object in here, you can hit Control T to, to transform it. Oftentimes without hitting Control T, you just have these... Um, uh, handlers over here and you can transform it that way but let's just hit control T just so we know that we're transforming um, the way it is now by default um, it scales proportionally when you grab one of these uh, handlers on the side right so it's just gonna one for one scale up or down um, now the way it used to be was that you had to hold shift to do that but now if you hold shift it's actually disproportionately scaling see um, so if you want to change this, you go edit and preferences. You can also hit control K for the hotkey. And then you'll just check this use legacy free transform under general hit. Okay. Now, if we go back again, control T and uh, if I'm not holding shift, you'll see it's disproportionate, right? But if I hold shift, all of a sudden it snaps to that scale. Now why I like that is because say in uh, Illustrator, if you're doing this, by default, it's going to disproportionately scale until you hold shift. So that would mean that these two programs would behave the same way if legacy is checked, correct? Except for what? There's one difference. And it's on the ones that are not in the corners here, these handlers here. I cannot hold shift does nothing it's just going to disproportionately scale it whereas in illustrator if i hold shift it's proportionate see so i, I really that's frustrating i want to be able to grab on these to proportionately scale so if i back out here and if i hit control k to bring up my general preferences and take this off now, if I click here, it's going to proportionally scale from these. And I'll just have to hold shift if I want it to do otherwise. So to me, having the option to proportionately scale using these handles here on the sort of cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, is way more important. Um, I can remember that I have to hold shift um, in, in this new mode, and that's okay. Um, but anyway, th that's that's the gist of what's going on here. I wish that they would change um, to make it to where, by default, you could click on this and it was disproportionate and you'd have to hold shift. But at the same time, you'd have to um, you'd have to hold shift here to get it to proportionately scale while legacy was checked. If that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know what your preference is down below. Do you like using legacy or do you like using the new way? Um, and like, subscribe, share my video, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.